my name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't put out a video in like two weeks, but I've been very busy. I have a lot of exciting things going on. I actually just moved. That's why I took two weeks off from making videos so that I could get everything situated there. So my background looks pretty much the same, but it might change a little bit as I try to figure out how I want to organize this room. The next super, super, super exciting thing that happened is I received my first like super official PR package in the mail because I got put on Revlon's PR list, which is really, really, really exciting. And I'm so grateful and thank you Revlon so much for sending me this package and putting me on your list. Like, I'm so excited. Also, I don't, I don't think they know this, but my most popular video on my YouTube channel is the only Revlon specific video I've done, which is the Wonder Woman collection. And the reason I say that I don't think they knew about that video is because the package they sent me is the Wonder Woman package. There are some duplicate products and there are some products that I actually didn't purchase. So that's actually really awesome. I will be doing a giveaway for all of the products that I have duplicates of. And I will have the directions down in the description and throughout the video I'll talk about what you need to do to enter the giveaway. So I'll definitely be linking my other Revlon video down below so you can see that. So let's start with the ones from the package. Super cute. I actually uh, love it. So there's this bag and it's really, really cool. Like it feels really interesting and just all of the colors, it, it's literally a rainbow which I love. This bag is so cute. And the first thing that comes in it is the palette. And this is mine. So the palette looks like this. And I actually created a beautiful eye look with this palette last time. So the palette will be part of the giveaway because I obviously already have that one. All right, so when I did my look with this, I was commenting on the fact that some of the metallic shades are different formulas a little bit and I didn't really understand why I didn't really know so in this package they describe actually what it is and it's 10 bold shades with saturated pigments in mattes metallics and pearls so I believe that the metallic -y shades that just have a little bit of sparkle are actually the ones that are pearl so the next product is the transforming effects eye powders so it looks like a little dual ended pencil and looks like it's purple and teal this dual-ended design has two iridescent silky soft powders filled with glistening pigments. So I'm actually really interested in this. Oh, it twists off. So I'm really not sure exactly how it works. I'm just like running it along my hand. Oh, I figured out how it works. I'm gonna try the, this side. Okay, that is super pretty. Oh, the blue teal side works way better than the purple side does at this point. I'm not really sure how to use these. The purple one hasn't been working that well. That's still really cool. And this is not a duplicate product, so I will be keeping this one. The next thing I'm pulling out is the Warrior Lip Color, and it's in the shade Fight For It, which is that gorgeous lip color sparkly lipstick thing that I absolutely fell in love with in that video. Like, it is just so gorgeous the sparkles are unreal like this is a great shade and i already have this one so i'll go ahead and swatch this and i'll be putting this in the giveaway as well so this it's just so pigmented super thick and the camera doesn't do it any justice but it's super super shiny and glittery vibrant liquid lipstick that transforms from matte to a multi-dimensional glitter finish with the press of the lips i think i did notice that so like yeah so like I just pushed it down with my hand and it glitters a little bit more. So that's a really, really cool effect. Next is the Fearless Black Liquid Liner. This ultra black liquid liner glides on evenly and has a gloss high shine finish. Wow, that is black and very high shine. And I don't have this either, so I'll be keeping this one as well. Next item is Revlon Red Nail Polish. And I actually didn't get this one either. The collection had two different colors and I had the blue one and they sent me this one so i'll be keeping this one too and those are cream and metallic shades for a darling brilliant look so this is the cream shade and the other one's the metallic shade next item is another one that i have and it's the color stay glaze stick and i actually didn't try this out yet but i'll be doing swatches today this high glide shadow stick provides one swipe 
high impact color that leaves the lid sparkling and shining all day long. So this one will be going in a giveaway. I'll go ahead and swatch mine. That's really pretty looking. I don't know that that's a color that I really gear towards, but really cool. And then it also comes with like a little thing on the back for This is actually really cool. I thought it was for smudging, but it's like an eraser. I just erased it. Okay, this is like way too cool. Oh. Like, just like that. I thought it was a smudger, but it's an eraser. That is gonna be the coolest thing ever. Very cool product. The collection also came with uh, the other one in the shade Glit. And I didn't get this in the PR package, but I did purchase this one. And it's that color there. The next item is this mirror. So one side's magnifying and one side's a regular mirror. So that's really pretty. I like this a lot. I didn't purchase this from the collection, so I will be keeping this. The next one is a lipstick. And this one's in the shade Truth Seeker. Also another color that I didn't have. And it's a little purpley shade. Looks like that. And there's the swatch. Very purpley. And the other shade they sent me is in the shade Super Heroine. Heroine? Heroine? And that one's a super matte red. Everybody benefits from a red matte lip. So the purple one was the Revlon Super Lustrous Cream. And then the Super Heroine is the matte. And the last item is the Liquid Armor Glow Pot. And this jelly-like texture glides onto skin for a buildable champagne gleam finish. So if you saw my last video, you'll know that I didn't really understand how to use this product or used it wrong, or maybe it's just not supposed to be covered with powder because I put powder over it because I like to set products. This will be in the giveaway as well, but I didn't really understand it. All right, so now that I've gone through all the products, I will talk about what's in the giveaway. So it's gonna be the eyeshadow palette, the liquid armor glow pot, warrior glitter lip color in the shade fight for it, and the color stay glaze stick in the shade sapphire. So all of these products retail for the lipsticks are $8.49, the palette is $14.99, the warrior lip colors are $10.99, the mirror is $6.99, these glaze sticks are $7.99. The eyeliner is $8.99. This transforming eye effect eye powders is $9.99. This armor glow pot is $11.99. The nail polishes are $5.99. And the ultra matte lips are $9.99. And if you want to be entered in the giveaway, all I need you to do is follow my Instagram, which is just underscore call underscore Mimi underscore Coco. It's also linked down below in the description. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment down below your Instagram username so that I can get in contact with you if you win. And go ahead and leave a like and a comment down below on my other Revlon video as well to be entered into the giveaway. And I hope this video does as well as my last Revlon video did because it's almost at a thousand views and that's amazing. So don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and ring the bell if you want to be notified when I put out new videos. So let's get started with the actual makeup. And my giveaway is probably going to be held for about two weeks. So I'm going to keep it open for two weeks and then I will randomly pick a winner with a random, random generator. A random person pick generator. I don't know what it's called, but I'll figure it out. So I'm actually going to start with highlighting my face because I didn't put a highlight on today because I remember really, really, really liking this gold for the highlight shade. And I'll be using this mirror to apply it, even though it's itty bitty teeny tiny. So cute though. I'm going to dip in that shade, which is called Courage, and use that on my Bretman Rock highlighting brush. I really love this shade. Gold for a highlight is just so pretty. It's not the most blinding highlight, but it just looks really nice. I'm gonna start off by priming my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And then I'm gonna bring you guys forward just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. 
Also, I'm really sorry if you hear the AC going on and off. Uh, I got a much bigger place, so I can't exactly turn off the AC because it'll get really hot in here. All right, so I think I'm gonna take that blue shimmer shade here, which is in the shade Self Belief, and I'm gonna take that on my Morphe 152 brush, little fluffy brush. And I just wanna put that in like the outer portion of my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little V shape in the corner. I am now going to take my Morphe Collaboration with Saweetie crease brush, and I'm gonna dip into that teal shade, which is the shade Self Control. And I'm gonna start bringing that forward into the inner portion of my crease. These shades are so pretty. I actually used both these shades in my last video with this palette as well. These go really nicely together. Down in the comments, let me know as the consumer or watcher of my channel, what you would personally like to see out of my channel or what you would like to see me do so that I can come up with better ideas that would cater to you guys. Of course, if you watch my channel, you already know that I really enjoy most of the shades in this palette. However, these shimmer shades, these are actually shimmer shades. They did lose their shimmer intensity after the first time I used them which is understandable, like I'm not mad at it. It's not like the end of the world for sure. I'm gonna go ahead and take a cleaned off fluffy Morphe X Jeffree Star JS6 brush. I'm just kind of gonna go over the edges here to see if I can blend that out without using any shadow. That seems to be working really nicely underneath here. Next, I'm going to take that glaze stick in the shade Glit, finally using them, which I'm very excited about, and I'm going to draw just right on the lid. And I'm going to map out like my lid area. I really like the way that that looks. It's a little subtle though for my taste, so I think I'm going to go over that with this shade here, which is the shade Compassion, to see if that'll brighten that up a little bit. And I'm taking that on my Bretman Rock Wet and Wild Collaboration Flat Brush. I'm just gonna pat that on top. I think that did intensify it a little bit. So that uh, glaze stick was a really nice base and really helped with cutting out this portion of the crease. I know that's not what it it's really used for, but that was really nice. And those glaze sticks are really easy to use. So that's a super plus for anybody who's just starting to get into makeup for something subtle and nice, easy, natural. That works out really well. I kind of want to use this transforming IFX powder, the greenish one for my brow bone highlight. Let's see how that works out. Definitely iridescent. It's not as easy to pick up on camera though, I think. I'm not a huge fan of the applicator. It's a little confusing and hard to use. It looks like you should be able to like swipe, but dabbing is what's actually working out for me. It's definitely really nice. It's a cool iridescent bluish. I'm gonna go ahead and take that Jeffrey Morphe 6 brush and blend those in together too. I'm gonna go ahead and take that same brush I was using for the dark blue, go back into the dark blue and fill in this outer corner. I really don't like that there isn't more light shades in here. That is a slight complaint I have because I'd like a lighter shade to blend out this blue over here. I'm gonna try to go in with the shade Unbeatable because it's like a little bit matte. I think that's the pearl one. And try to blend out the sides here. That highlight shade I used and this inner corner shade I used to top the eye glaze are like really soft. Feels really nice on the eye and looks really cool. I really like the way that looks mixing together with the blue. I love that you can make so many different kinds of looks with this palette. I did a, bl a very blue look with a 
not mainly blue palette. So I like that. I think I'm gonna take that pink shade and take that underneath my eye. And the pink shade is Brave. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take that here up front for the front portion of my underneath. And then I'm gonna take that purple shade, which I believe is the shade Legendary. And I'm gonna take that on the outer portion. That purple is really pretty. I think that pink and purple really brought together this look. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner for my waterline, and this is in the shade Exit. I am now gonna go in with that liquid liner. It almost looks better without the liner than with the liner. Nothing against the liner. I just tend to gear towards more no liner looks. While I wait for that to dry, I'm gonna go in with the shade Compassion for my inner corner highlight. Okay, well this eyeliner was actually fairly easy to use, even for somebody who doesn't do eyeliner very often. It came out very nice, even though I don't normally do it, but I figured I'd do it because it's part of the package, you know? Okay, well I got a little bit of the eyeliner in my eyelashes, so I don't know how that's gonna work with the mascara, but I'm trying out a new mascara today. It is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara, so let's see. That brush is not what I thought it was gonna be. I like the way this looks. This is definitely no MAC False Lashes Extreme Black Mascara, which is what I use on the daily, but this is still pretty. Definitely messed up a little bit because of the eyeliner in my uh, lashes, because the liner clumped my lashes together. All right, so since this look is blue, I don't know which lip I wanna use. I'm gonna go ahead and do lip swatches of the two new lipsticks they sent me. I'm gonna start with the Super Heroine Matte Red. So this is the Matte Red, very matte and very red. It's actually really, really pretty and I don't have any product like this. Like I have some red liquid lipsticks, but I don't have any red lipsticks like this. On to the next one. And the other one is that purple Truth Seeker. This one's also very pretty and much more moisturizing than the last one because it's the cream formula, not the matte formula. So I'm not gonna be using either of these for this look today because neither of them really match the eye look I created for my lips. I am going in with the Ultra HD Matte Lip Mousse. Definitely feeling this color more than the other ones for this look specifically. It also makes my lips look super plump. All right, so thanks so much for watching my video today. Your support means the world to me. Let me know in the comments how you like this look. And don't forget to enter the giveaway if you want to receive some of these Revlon Wonder Woman collaboration products. And a big thank you again to Revlon for sending me these. It means the world to me that I could even receive PR. Like, I never thought it would happen and it just makes me feel great. So thanks guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.